Hello and welcome back inside the Park for May for podcast number 867. This is Todd. No, Todd, not now. A.K.A. Negative Camber. You know why I've asked you here. It was convinced the villagers that I'm harmless. That should be pretty obvious by now, isn't it? Tonight, for your kind consideration, oh boy, do we have a show for you. Do we have a show, apostrophe S shows? Yes, we've even got notes. I can't wait to get into this, but before getting into this show, I have to introduce my guest, which, you know what that actually does mean when I talk about guests? I've got to go all the way to the right coast of America, nestled in our nation's capital, sipping on a glass of, oh, I don't know, it could be Jack and Coke, it could be a cognac, it could be wine, it could be a glass of Hennessy. Who knows? You know her. You love her. Of course, I have to be talking about the lovely, the redoubtable. Grace! Grace, how you doing? I think a podcast in Hennessy seems like a bad idea for me. It does seem like a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe like, a great idea for the listeners, but. Yeah. That's it's about a like a podcasting uh, while drinking tequila for Paul. That's right. You Rick you know I miss him. Right. He's bad. He's yeah, beautiful. He He's is. crazy. He totally it's... is. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Charles, the, the international. Paul, how you doing? I'm doing good. Yes. International yeah. indeed. Yeah, your shots well, for everybody. That's what he was I got to tell you, Paul, that picture you snapped and threw up at the Valkyrie was pretty pretty exciting. Yeah, the Valkyrie is pretty intense. Yeah. Can't wait to see the race version. Should be coming down the pipeline. Yes. Yes. Super excited about year. that. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm very excited about that. You got the new GT cars, right? Yep, got new GT cars. Yep. And, new uh, GT. I, I, New Valkyrie. We just announced that I get to go to Australia this year, so that's awesome. Nice. We're going to the Bathurst. We're going to race Bathurst? hard racing at a race in Bathurst, and I get to go. So is that the uh, silhouetted I, checker flag car? Paint job. That silhouetted. Had the, well, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Checker kinda. flag look to it. Yeah, yeah, it's a Mercedes, oddly enough, but it's just yeah. what works with the category and what we're doing. But um, it's obviously we're racing Astons most of the time, but. They're going to race uh, the Creventic 24 hour and the 12 hours of Bathurst in a Mercedes. So that's yeah, awesome. So I did to go to. I've never been to Australia, and we know a lot of Australians listen. So we get do ready. have a lot. We've got a lot of Australian friends that listen to the podcast. We love Australia. Paul and I have patented. We've said that many shows. Yeah. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm kind of excited about that. Are you? Yeah, just yeah. It's only like eight weeks away, and I get to. Land in Sydney, so yeah, it's coming coming right up, right off to Daytona. So you'll show up, and they'll be like, "Get off now!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I must say is that the the visa forms to get into Australia are very strict and extensive. So huh. yeah, they're keeping the riffraff out for sure. <laughs> they're still so, a little so bitter about not have the whole English thing. In. You're you know yeah. The, yeah. allowing the English in, Paul. They're a little, a little still a little bitter about that. Maybe I don't a know. little bit. I would I don't blame them. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Well, you'd be happy to know, Paul, that uh, Grace and I aren't racing anything this year. Um, <laughs> okay. Eight weeks from we now, do. I'll probably still be right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In this yeah. chair. That's right. Yeah. Grace, show the I world your new life. shirt. Show the world your new oh. shirt you got there. <laughs> so this was Flip got me this for Christmas. Wait, this is I'm going to try to make this for those not watching too, totally on YouTube. awkward. Right? So it's a Ferrari my, logo, but my, it has a prancing cat. And it says Ferrari, not, not Ferrari. And I asked Grace oh, yeah. if that was a Catalino instead of a Catalino. As a Ferrari fan, I don't, yes, I don't know did. if I don't. Yeah, everybody thought it was shit humor, and it was. But I uh, <laughs> let's be honest. But you know, I'm a Ferrari fan, so I lash out the first thing I could think of, um, and it was weak. So for tonight's podcast, right up front. It's a two-parter, folks. It's the holiday season. It's a two-parter show. And let me just tell you what we're going to talk about in this episode. And then next week's episode, we will come to conclusions. It's like the jump to conclusion, Matt. All right? Mm. So you get it? I'm good with people, damn it. (laughs) Um, So here's how it's going to work. So 
Look, F1 has been marred by controversies from its earliest, earliest days. And since there's a lot of new fans of Formula One and they're really kind of having fun digging into some of these past controversies, and there's a lot of veteran F1 fans that it's fun to revisit these from time to time. So we thought what we would do is we would explore some of the more savory incidents in Formula One in a new two-part podcast series where we thought we would take some topics, you know, and, and, and we'll talk them and then you can research them on your own time. You could even weigh in in the comments section and vote for uh, what you guys think. But we decided to pick our top scandals and our top controversies from Formula One. And we're going to put them into categories on this podcast. And then part two next week, we're going to whittle it down. Right. So as Grace said, what about the brackets, Grace? This week, we're going to seed the brackets. And the next week, we're going to have the head to head competitions. So you get, you know, the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight. And then you get down to our top scandal slash controversy. There you go. This, uh, this so we thought it'd be fun to do. And uh, and so we're going to start off with a category and then Grace and I are going to look at our list. Paul's going to look at his list and we're going to throw different controversies or scandals into this category. Grace is going to take copious notes. And so if you see, if you're watching this show on YouTube, then you'll see her typing copiously. Um, and then next week we're going to take these categories brackets and we're going to, we're going to whittle them down to our top ones. And then you guys can see if you agree with us. So, with that being said, let's jump into it because we got a lot to cover, um, mm -hmm. and uh, we got a lot of uh, topics that we got to seed the brackets with. So, with that being said, I guess what is the first bracket we're going to be talking about? Team controversies. Okay, so we're going to be talking about team issues, right? So I'm going to scan my notes, but Paul, we'll start with you. What's uh, what's uh, one or two or more of your team? Controversies. I'm going to start with multi 21. Ooh. Ooh, nice one. That was a juicy one that it, kept, it kind of kept going even after off the event and after we saw the big Seb and uh, Mark Webber getting back together photo. That was just the that was the beginning photo. of the end. That that was was, great. I love that photo. Yeah, we're all buddies now. That's yeah, right. after you just crashed into each other. I mean, it was. There was a lot of upheaval in Red Bull. They had a lot to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> I think good. Paul and I did a part, picture of both of us doing that and <laughs> tweeted it. Yeah. yeah. So if you didn't see it, it was obviously there was a big rivalry at the time in Red Bull, a little tussle of uh, who was who was number one, who was number two, and um, they ended up hitting each other, both right. Red Bulls. At, um, was it Turkey? Turkey. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they ended up hitting each other and... Um, so that a lot of things ensued there after it, but there was supposedly a deal made between the two drivers or be between the team and the two drivers that whoever's leading at a certain point um, was going to finish the race in that point and um, seemed that Seb Vettel did not want to uh, no. stick to that rule. And so they, they fought it out opinion. and then they bounced into each other in the, in the ensuing aftermath of it. Yeah. Yes. Good, good shout. Yes. That was a good one. I agree. Everyone has yeah. heard multi 21. Uh, for mine, uh, I'll throw in Senna versus Prost. 1989 Japanese Grand Prix, Senna hit Prost. And then he got, remember, he got the assist by uh, stewards or marshals to restart his car. And he went in to finish the race. Yeah. And Prost They were just didn't. pushing him out of the way. They were just yeah, pushing him out of the way. He, right. he happened to drop the clutch at that moment. That's just happened, right? <laughs> but it ends up he was disqualified, fined $100,000, got a six-month ban for it, right? Uh, so that was huge. That was earth-shadowing. And then, you know, the very next year we know what Prost did to Summit. But, yes, that was uh, – <laughs> That was a huge yeah. no no. Uh, yeah, and it was it was interesting because Prost was the original one that got center on the team. And yeah, they were all happy happy buddies just for a very short time, and then very short time. you know, center got a little competitive, and Prost didn't quite not do in the beginning, and then yeah, that that rivalry where they didn't speak to each other for, and rivalry within the team, right? Just yeah. not just the drivers, the different sides of the of the garage had had big rivalries against each other, supporting their own individual drivers. So. Yeah, that was a huge one. Uh, Grace, what do you got? 
You know, this was a this is uh, this is a bit of a toss up of what I'm gonna go with, but I, I feel like we kind of have to mention Austria twenty. I almost said twenty twenty two. Whew. O2, which was uh, Schumacher and Barrichello when uh, Barrichello was leading the race. Ferrari said, mm-hmm. hey, 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 Rubens, hey, uh, could you let Michael pass? When, and he let him pass. And it was, a, it was a, so he could get more points, right? And during the podium celebration, you know, Michael tries to pull Rubens up. And, yeah. uh, you know, he had all this like, oh, we were trying to cross the line at the same time. I don't know what the controversy <laughs> is. I, You know, so Michael sort of had all these like, Back stepping away from what had happened, but ultimately, right, Austria O2 is what got team orders banned yeah. that were then um, lifted later. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, there's been, right. There's been a lot of incidents with that for sure. Yeah. It, it was it was weird though because basically Schumacher was dominating the whole year, right? At that it was point, unnecessary. Mm-hmm. De- it was completely unnecessary, and you know, took took took, took the stuffing out of Barrichello, probably permanently, I would think. Yeah. yeah, I, I think yeah. that's. I think anybody that's watched the Braun GP uh, <laughs> right documentary, like for sure, that definitely comes yeah. up that he's just like, no, not doing no, it, taking taking not team doing orders that anymore. Yeah, no, not going to do it. Right. Yeah, it's the yeah. new and improved. It was interesting. Yeah. yeah, that show was actually interesting because you heard the button and Barrichello, and you would think at the end of it they would be completely against each other and enemies, but Barrichello says, "Oh, he was just my friend in the end." It's yeah, like, oof. but Barrichello wasn't even th- even though he was friends, he definitely wasn't given any given any inch to button at that point. So. Right? Is it worth adding 1999, 1997 Hareth, Schumacher punting Jacques Villeneuve like he did well, Hill in ninety six? The... Yeah, I would, well, I'd say I'd say the Hill the Hill in in ninety six was it ninety six that happened? I'd say yeah. that was a bigger one, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't think that's the way JV views it. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I he thought 97 a ramp was pretty big. Because Schumacher actually got penalized for it against JV when, rightfully so, he should have been penalized for the Hill I incident, know. although I know Todd completely disagrees. but I disagree. Um, yeah, and well, but the, the JV one, JV went on to win the title because of it, right? He, he did, the but if, won the if, title. yeah, but Hill would have won the title if, Schumacher had punted Hill, so yeah. So we got a couple there. Ninety six, ninety seven. We got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> Controversy, <laughs> look quiet in the room. Yeah. So far, the Schumacher count is three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> three. There's going to be an underlying the theme here, where yeah. yeah. Maybe that should be a separate set of brackets. I think you know. Maybe yeah. I may have to take the picture behind me down. Then if we're going to go down this route. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's his legacy. I think, you know, what some view as, like, uh, evil genius or diabolical genius, other view as dastardly cheater, you know? It's, right, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Another one, another one I bring up is uh, Villeneuve and Peroni. Yep. And, okay. uh, you know. Some consider that of... probably ended up with Villeneuve, you know. Uh, right, right. Moving I on, mean, obviously checking the out safety of the car and everything, but yeah, it it, yeah. it put Villeneuve in a in a mindset that yeah. he made a, some poor decisions just because he was so angry. They were buddies before; they made a pact that once again, kind of like multi twenty one, there was a there was a preset um, yeah rule made, and Peroni went against it according to Villeneuve, and you know they never spoke again. And then two weeks later, Villeneuve obviously trying to still boiling over the whole thing ended up maybe yeah. making a bad move and ended up dying in an incident and um, yeah, so yeah. Brutal. obviously had a lot of ramifications after that stuff yeah it did that's a good yeah. list don't can you I, think yeah go ahead grace can i just add one more i feel like yeah. we should add if we if i added austria 02 which is when they banned team orders then i should also mention when we brought them back which was after uh 2010 Germany when uh, the the my favorite Medley family member Rob S Medley <laughs> <laughs> informed Felipe Massa that Alonso is faster than you, and after that uh, the FIA said threw in the towel and they're done <laughs> trying to regulate team orders. Do what you want. We're not going to do this want. anymore. Yeah. So after 2011, you could have all the team orders you want. So that was the the bookend on the team orders controversies and in, yeah. in Formula yeah. One. It was the bookend. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's good. Well, that's one thing that really frustrated me, obviously, I was a Ronnie Peterson fan, but um, Ronnie always stood by the 
the agreement they had he had at Lotus when he rejoined Lotus that Andretti was number one. If Andretti was leading, he would never harass Andretti, right? Even though I always thought Ronnie was um, a better driver, perhaps. But um, yeah, that's that's when it, that was frustrating as a as a fan of Ronnie Peterson that he would actually he actually stuck to the agreement. Yeah. Right? But uh, some of these other people had different ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I don't. And I'm surprised neither none of you had uh, Rosberg and Hamilton, Spain. Uh, oh forget, yeah, <laughs> but that's a good one. Okay, but they had yeah. a f- yeah they had a few incidents. They had a Just few a incidents. Couple. Him parking up at Mirabeau <laughs> in Monaco. The hot hat parking. throwing was brutal. Hat throwing was violent. Great. Yeah, they could have yeah. put an eye out. I might have. <laughs> could have drawn blood. Okay. Just think of all the children that could have had that hat. The you know, children discarded it. Discarded okay. it away. I know. All Reckless right. abandon. All right. What's our next category There's a few. then? There's probably a few we're missing, right, too. So, I don't know. Rosberg Hamilton's a pretty big, like, <laughs> <laughs> umbrella there for two years. So, all right. Our next category is car controversies. Ooh. So this could be anything that, you know, came up with the cars, people challenged, people didn't like, people illegal liked. Illegal cars. People there were some cars. things. That's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. illegal. Copies, Flexi wings. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, J dampers. Mm-hmm. J dampers, double diffusers. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, F ducks. Yeah. Illegal traction control. Sorry, is that Schumacher again? God, <laughs> dang it! No, it was just for stopping. <laughs> That's true. Fuel, the fuel filter that was on Yas's car. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you got, Paul, for a car controversy? Car controversy. Well, I mean, there, there's obviously been a lot of car copying going on, mm-hmm. and and this is just. I'm, I'm only bringing this up because it was part of my childhood that started to unravel with my innocence, you know, because I, when uh, Arrows came out, I was a big Arrows fan, I, 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 and that's where I became a big Ricardo Patrese fan because they led their first race and nearly won South African Grand Prix, and, th- and then find out that, in fact, Tony Southgate had moved from Shadow to Arrows and actually took the plans with him and basically made an exact arrow a, a shadow copy and put it under the arrow's name which then went back to court and then um i think in in a very very short time they had to modify that car try, quite dramatically to away from the shadow uh original plans and uh, actually come up with a car that actually designed themselves after tony southgate had actually left if memory serves so. correctly i think the court was like yeah, eighty percent of this car is a direct copy of the shadows, and and Tony right. was like, "Yeah, but I was doing, I designed that car for them as a consultant, not an employee. I wasn't yeah. an employee; I was a consultant, and so I think the intellectual property it belongs with me, not the team, because I wasn't an employee. Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And su- such things have never stopped, quite honestly. Yeah, especially yeah, yeah. when we see all the all the team members switching positions and taking things right. with them, etc. And yeah, right. It's, right. Why, why, why come f- up with something yourself when you've got something perfectly easy to to steal? That's Flavio's re- uh, uh, raison d'être. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. that's his mantra. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> with significant others and with engineers. Yeah, right, right. Mm. Grace, what do you got? Uh, I was going to go with Tracing Point, a.k.a. the pink Mercedes of 2020. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. very similar. Sort yeah, of, the yeah, pink they, Mercedes. They pink yeah. Mercedes, yeah. Tracing Point, as I like to refer to them. I've, got, yeah, I've got a few of them that fall in this category. I guess I'll start with the uh, the weight of the car. Um, and there's really kind of three that fall into that category. Do you remember Williams and their water cool brakes in 82? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'd fill up water in the tank of water. It wasn't just Williams. Lotus was doing it, too. Uh, and I've memory, wasn't it Paul, because Lotus, Williams, and another team, it was Renault or somebody, they were they didn't use the turbo engines. And they knew they were going to get smoked by the turbos. So they came up with this yeah. water tank and said that it was the water-cooled brakes. But then they got into the race that dumped all the water out, made the cars lighter right. to be competitive with the turbos, right? Right. And then you were allowed to re- replenish your fl- – because the cars were way f- with their fluids in them. So they were allowed right. to replenish their massive, heavy water tank at the yeah. end of the race to meet weight. Yeah. Yeah. And then in 84, you had Tyrrell uh, doing the similar thing, but just did it with lead shot. 
in the car. Right. Yeah. Right. Dumped a bunch of lead out, uh, and so that lead shot ballast, which was which was interesting. Uh, so that was a f- though the, uh, Williams mm-hmm. and their water cool breaks. I thought was was interesting. Um, yeah. The other one, I actually had that one... myself when I was racing in IMSA, where there was a car <laughs> called a Consolia, and they to make they came into the pits after the cool down lap after race and changed tires, and then they went to scrutineering to be weighed. And the tires were actually filled with water. <laughs> they were found out, mind you, but yeah. That, that's why wow. cars have to immediately go to Park Ferme. They are not allowed to yeah. come in and It's like they're like they have it's like a the spigot tires. on them like like a cooler. Like there's just like a little <laughs> and you let all the water out. <laughs> <laughs> that's Turn the car crazy. sideways a little bit. You know, yeah. and similar to that, uh, Grace, was Honda's mm-hmm. secret fuel tank in 05. That's right. Remember? You know, I didn't think of anything about the fuel tanks until this happened, and now everything I know it comes from this this controversy. Yeah, because at the time, I think it was 600 kilos a uh, car mm-hmm. weight, and they had that extra ballast uh, in a separate little uh, baffle that held fuel, mm-hmm. And but when it got down to it uh they it put the car under weight like 590 or i was like a handful of kilograms but it was enough and jensen got disqualified uh, um and so that was you know so there's three weight related ones that i was thinking of mm-hmm. you have some other ones paul yeah i go i go to like the fan car yeah 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 right that was yeah, that uh... was the brabham right yeah, the Brabham fan car and did one race. They didn't yeah. make it illegal or didn't disqualify it, but they just told them not to come back with it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, That's great. Yeah, yeah. And it was it, the, the big fan. It was just for cooling, just for cooling. But when you accelerated, the the back end yeah. just went right down the ground. Yeah. This is yeah. when when everyone was trying to compete with the Lotus Seventy Nine with ground effects. Yeah, it was actually more effective. And uh, yeah, so Gordon Murray, that intelligent designer my favorite designer uh said yeah just 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 for cooling those alfa romeo engines they get very hot you know yeah <laughs> so nicky lauda ran away with the race beat the yeah. beat the uh the ground effect lotus by a country mile but we're, we're not allowed to return with that vehicle again yeah i mean i think maybe that's an interesting thing is the pink mercedes the only one that didn't that was still allowed to continue out of these like arrows wait like all these other ones it was like right they actually got pro- out. yeah yeah well there's been a couple few things where people copied cars to some degree right mm-hmm. yeah. um green red I mean, bull but, the but, pink mercedes yeah um the actual uh, tyrell the other... tyrell copied the slow to 79 but did a better job of it which was yeah weird. yeah and there was um oh gosh i was trying to yeah i was trying to think of others that were Sort of copies. I mean, eventually everybody takes on, you know, the parts that work. Yeah, I think um, Toyota were accused of copying the Ferrari. Yeah. Um, Sauber they... was Sauber accused of copying the Ferrari? I think Sauber. Yes, Sauber were accused of copying the Ferrari, but then Sauber yeah. actually had Ferrari engines in at that time. So I'm not yeah. sure they stole the notes or were given the notes. Here, yeah, this right. is my gift to you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do what you want with them. Yeah, as opposed the, as opposed to Mercedes with uh, Tracing Point, you know, with Racing Point, where they were like, "Well, when we gave them to you, it wasn't illegal for me to do this, right?" Like they weren't on the listed parts at the time; they are now, but they weren't then, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of the other ones, uh, the McLaren brake steering, uh, I thought was uh, uh, very yeah, clever. <laughs> yeah, it was very clever. Uh, that was, uh, what was that? 97 ish around there. Yeah. It's yeah, when, when they, when they came out with the narrow cars with the yeah. treaded tires. So they yeah. were trying to figure out a way of actually getting the car to turn. And yeah, so they, and they manipulated. May have, yeah. Yeah. They may have gotten away with it. It wasn't for Darren Heath, the photographer, well-known F1 photographer yeah. had pictures of <laughs> the rear kids. brake disc glowing under acceleration. And they were like, mm, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so it was kind of like a driver-initiated passive, a separate traction pedal. control, stability control. Yeah. So, but but yeah, they they weren't deemed illegal. It, kind of like the the fan car, they were just told not to bring it back. So kind of like they the F duct, right? F duct. We got to talk about the F duct. I forgot all about the F duct. Yeah. 
Yeah. Those fall under the McLaren category, which also probably could be its own category next to Michael Schumacher, right? Yeah. 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 I think Quite it was Mercedes that there. had the F-duct, right? A couple that, was it Renault? I, I remember Cubico using it. Or was it BMW? I don't know. I think everybody started McLaren, I think. It. Actually, maybe McLaren had McLaren the McLaren had the f I don't know because if it it's was... an F because... I don't remember if it was Mercedes who did it first and then McLaren or McLaren and then Mercedes, but... I think it was yeah, McLaren. It... Yeah, it could have been. Because it's, it's called an F-duck because the intake is right by the F in Vodafone. The F-duck. It's not shaped <laughs> like an F. Oh. Ah. I had no idea why it was called the F-duck. There you go, right? I like, just, it I just figured it was an improvement from the E-duck. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't not Ferrari. Not as good as the like, yeah. Strategy H, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Which should have started Ricky, the... what uh, you say it? The cottage interest of uh, like your your uh, uh, cooling and your heating duct cleaners, you know, that run around, you know, <laughs> touting, you know, to HOAs. Well, come in and clean out your ducts, you know. So your F duct. <laughs> you would clean your F ducts out, you know. We can come and do that for you. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. So then, you had the. I should hate the, the F duct because the F duct is what brought us DRS. DRS in the end. Yeah, exactly. That's, right. That's why I'm surprised you didn't have it because you and I hate. Uh, so, I forgot all about yes. the F duct. Yeah, that was pretty. Remember, remember the whole. It was kind of like. That the the steering on the on the Mercedes, pushing forward and changing brick uh, oh, right. the top right. Mm-hmm. The, it was like right. I remember just watching the TV and everyone's going, "What's he doing? Why why is his hand over there? Yeah. What's, they're, they're all trying to figure out what's going on. What's his knee doing? Yeah, right? yeah why, is, why is he putting his arm against the side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think they called it the Dawes system or something like that. And then there was oh, the yeah, right, right. Das, the das, 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 das. That was it. Das. Yeah. And yeah. then they had uh, Mercedes had the brick system, remember, where the front suspension and rear were linked. Um, that both the br- the DOS and the brick system and F duck, all three of those, they just politely asked them not to do that. We're going to ban right. this yeah. next year, right? Yeah. Those, just asking uh, for a banned. friend. But the J dampers <laughs> that Renault was running, mm-hmm. they instantly banned it mid season, and Renault's right. performance went, went through the backwards, floor. Backwards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a big one. Uh, whereas yeah. Mercedes were just asked not to bring those back, and they banned yeah. them for the following year. But the J dampers, that was a really aggressive move by the FIA, which mm-hmm. ruined Renault's season. Yep. Um, that was a big one. And then I think you do have, you probably both have, the 1994 traction control with Benetton, right? Oh, um, yes. Who, who was driving when, that car, Grace? <laughs> You asked for stopping. Michael Schumacher. <laughs> Michael Schumacher. <laughs> <laughs> was stopping that was doing it. Michael said, no, I want no part of that. And you said, oh, I'll it's, do it. We have it on the car. We just chose not to use it. <laughs> not to use it. Right. There's a little button well, over here. I just. That's I right. I it's there, but we didn't use yeah. it. Because, you know, Schumacher is like, oh, this will make me faster. What? If I press this button, I, I just don't feel no, good about I, no. myself if I use this. I know. Like, I I'm one. Schumacher. I don't need <laughs> that. I don't need uh, that. I'm Schumacher. Why would I want that? Yeah. No, but, he but didn't it, need it, it. That's the crazy it, thing. Yeah, true. In it's fairness, true. telling on myself, I think it all started in 94 when Lorini at Ferrari leaked to the press that Ferrari, that they were using a special mapping software. And then mm. that got everyone talking. And then remember, Senna set out a session, went down to turn one and listened to all of the cars right. going through turn one. And he came back and said, Benetton's using it. I can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. remember that. And, uh, <laughs> and but the rights. FIA could never really prove they used it in, in racing condition. So, mm-hmm. which, which uh, is, so it, it's just laughable, in it, isn't it? Really? I mean, yeah. it, you, they find things on cars that they can't prove they actually used, but. They they ban them and disqualify people just for yeah. being on the car. Which Isn't I think that it like really if I get... started with Ferrari though? Mm. Isn't that like if I get pulled over and there's an illegal substance in my car, I don't go, it's not mine, it's Todd's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I would right. say that. Right, yes. like it's right. on your car, even if you say you didn't use it, it was there. Right, right. right. That seems right. problematic. And another mm-hmm. one to throw in there, Grace, is the off throttle diffuser. Remember that. The off-throttle diffuser I, I and the teams, mm-hmm. what they were doing is they had the diffuser on the car, but normally, as, as Paul has said many times, when you lift off, um, you have the natural air 
uh, coming over the diffuser, which provides downforce. Right. And when you lift off, initially that uh, provides some braking or slowing down. But as you start to slow down, that air lessens, providing less downforce to the car. So then you're into more mechanical grip at that point. But the teams figured out that when they lift off the throttle, they could have software that was still burning and running the engine at high throttle, 50, 60, 80% of throttle, so that hot air was still generated out of the engine coming mm -hmm. over the diffuser, providing downforce for longer into the braking zones, right? And so they figured yep. out, they called it off-throttle diffuser, and, uh, nice. yeah, they didn't, uh, that was in 2011 that that happened. Yeah, that was all the engine mapping and things going on. And yeah, they gave them time yeah. to fix that, though, I think, right? I they think get, they did. They said, we're not going to do this, but you got to, like, after the British Grand Prix or something. I think, I think they ended up saying that you could run 10% off-throttle engine throttle rate. But remember, was it Renault got special dip in dispensation to run at 50% off-throttle because there was something uh, – they argued that it was a reliability of with their engine, that if they went lower than that, it would destroy their engine. So they were given – a fifty percent throttle. The rest were ten percent, and the other teams were apoplectic about that. I remember. Renault's going to ruin themselves. They don't need any help from any <laughs> right. other thing. Right, right, they, right. They've got enough internal destruction. So right, sure. right. So they anyway, forty percent more than everybody else. There's a few to consider. Uh, Just a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it several on the uh, the car issue, okay. um, and that's not to consider. I guess the other. Holy Grail, which prevented our friend Dave Richards and ProDrive from getting into the sport right. because of her uh, customer cars, right? Frank uh, Williams uh, it went, you know, ballistic, right? Ah! And he said that he would sue uh, Toro Rosso, Super Gurry, or ProDrive if they came in and operated with a leased chassis. That was a no-go. That's right. Yep. And as somebody who every year when we do what are our top, you know, 10 things to bring back into Formula One or bring to Formula One, Customer cars is always on my yeah. list. It would solve a lot yeah. of problems. But yeah. no, no one could get. No one's allowed to bring in a new team anymore, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah. No, you can and, bring in a new team, just not Michael Andretti. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right, right, right. Cadillac Very, is fine, just not, not Andretti Michael Cadillac. Andretti. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Right. And Paul, Penske, you mentioned Penske Cadillac would be fine, you know. <laughs> you mentioned one, Paul, that before we started recording in '78, the Aero's dual chassis. Uh, the the Lotus. Oh, the Lotus twin chassis. chassis. Yeah, the twin chassis yeah, design, that was which was... Yeah. Colin Chapman design thing came up, and they just sent him home that day. Yeah. Yeah, that was so, interesting. That was another one. Okay. Yep. Yeah, um, they actually got that car running. I mean, I think it ran a historic event or something very, fairly recently, but oh. yeah. Definitely oh, interesting. Off. Yeah. Mm. What's the next category, Grace? Political wars. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Small category. There's nothing like we can just breeze right through this one, go right? Right through this one, Paul. What you? What do you got? Are we going to talk about Toto? No, you did. You guys did that last week. <laughs> yeah, we did. Talk uh, about to I'm Toto just and his wife. Yes. Toto and yeah, Susie, it, that's yeah. just a blip on the map of the of what what that's have true. we seen, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to go back to 1982. So that's the FISA and FOCA war. And then, yep. and I think we may have a couple of others come up in this category too with the teams, drivers against the sanctioning body and how they're controlling it. It's to do with money, it's to do with safety, et cetera. But uh, yeah, there was a whole big thing in um, San Marino where uh, all the drivers were locked in uh, in a hotel room or a lobby or something, and they were just kind of sitting it all out. So, yeah, that's... Yeah, you had the FISA FOCA war, which was yep. huge. And that's yes. when Max and Bernie wrested control of the sport away right. from... Right, where they were on the other side of the of the opposing... They were. Right? Right. We, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, they, they were, were the on the team side. To, yeah. Against Ballestra and FISA. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So there's that. Then you had the FOTA breakaway threat. Uh, a few years ago, oh nine ish, when the teams yes. yeah, created it's Foda. The... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the Braun yeah, uh, it's documentary. The... Yeah, right. So it's oh yep. nine. Where right. Braun and... broke ranks and just he did the whole thing. He did that was great. Uh, and <laughs> it's not a and Ferrari. And oddly enough, then got a job at the FIA later on. Yeah. How about that? So did Pat oh. Simmons. Amazing. Mm. Um, oh, so you imagine had the, that. <laughs> yeah. So you had FISA Folk Award. Then you had the Foda breakaway threat. 
And that was, these were, these were two very, very huge issues. And there's a very interesting, again, I keep touting the autobiography of Max Mosley, but both of these are discussed at length in there. And there's some very, very interesting commentary by Max about why, first of all, how Sofoka unfolded and how they were pretty brilliant in wresting control of the sport away. And then the photo, which he is absolutely convinced would never have happened uh, because of the legal EU uh, legal thing. So it's interesting read if you haven't read it. So there's those two, right? Um, and then uh, we uh, one that I had was the boycott in 85 of South Africa over apartheid, right? Right. Which was huge. And we've obviously had a lot of issues with the big whole Formula One teams and what country they're going to and should they or shouldn't they go there. Uh, South Africa, obviously. Maybe, maybe it was one of the first ones, I think, that Formula One kind of forced into a place that a lot of people were objecting to for human yeah. rights issues, et cetera. And yeah. Still still going right now, right? Yeah, we had Bahrain, mm -hmm. which was another political hotbed. Yeah. Unless you were one of Bernie Eccleston's friends, and then it was not. Yeah, it was, everything was fine there. No big deal. It was, it was fine. Skirmish, I talked to skirmish kids. in the parking lot amongst two kids. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then as part of that FISA folk award knock-on, I, I actually had, Grace, the uh, Bernie Eccleston mm -hmm. securing the TV rights for 100 years, which uh, wrested the TV rights away, and that was handed to him by Max via Max at the FIA, which was huge, which right now Liberty Media is thanking the, you know, their lucky stars that Bernie did that deal because that's what they own. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And in 100 years, Bernie's going to be renegotiating it again. <laughs> he will. They'll, they'll bring <laughs> Bernie back <laughs> in to <laughs> renegotiate. <laughs> It'll be like um, on Futurama, right? It'll yeah. just be his head in a jar and they'll just wheel it out like <laughs> right. Nixon, right? And they'll just, he'll just right. you know, do his thing. Right. That's right. Yeah, It'll that was good. What other ones? Do you have some, Grace, uh, you want to add? Oh, yeah. AD21, I think, has to be on there. The you, what? Abu Dhabi 21. You don't oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Political oh. controversy. <laughs> you both yeah. just went, like, blank, and I'm like, that does well, go yeah. in this category, right? I, I, didn't, I, I don't know your shorthand, Grace. I didn't know like, the shorthand AD21 either. AD21. Yes. <laughs> Okay. okay. AB21. So, you know, for as 20, much as yes. Todd is always like, you know, that, the interwebs we getting at him. I about multi-21. I don't know how that's... No. 80-21. Okay. Yes, of course. That's what the kids call it. No, Mikey, no. Yes, of course. <laughs> Did you get my email? Like, so many, <laughs> so many great memeing moments came out of that. But, yes. um, you know, I, I think of all of them. Maybe that's the one we don't need to, like, rehash the most but I, I do think for me not I mean it did give us a lot of great memes but I think it also um, to me right when he didn't pull all the cars forward right like he should have yeah um, all seven he only pulled through five um, of Michael Michael Massey did and I sort of went well you know that's Formula One and I think for me it was interesting to hear all the other people that were like what is this sham that we call a sport so I think there was a lot of discussion between perhaps myself or fans like myself that were more apathetic about the uh, race director's job what rule making is in Formula One what stewards come up with in Formula One and sort of how that plays out versus people who were newer to the sport and they were like what do you mean that all the all the team principals call Michael Massey on the phone? Like, I I mean, I mean, I was early, you know, early in when I Face learned. Time. That that's, yeah, that's literally what Charlie Whiting did was just like answer phone calls from the team principals. I just see. Right. And I agree. It seems very odd that that shouldn't be the race director's job to like, you know, well, Jonathan, don't you know what they're talking about in Mercedes and Toto? Don't you know what Christian Horner's talking about? In like, that just seems crazy to me that that's like some sort of like switchboard. But right. I also think the thing is, is that what I missed the most out of that was that was like the one race where we got to hear all that team principal communication, which I loved. And then it was gone because we'll never get it again. Because I think with a lot of these, um, these are things that happen. Um, not, these are just the ones you get caught, right? Maybe that's the, what's that old line? Like cheating happens. You just, sometimes you get caught, just try not mm. to get caught. And I think that was a place where had we not had access to the, the real time pit wall communications with Michael Massey, maybe that wouldn't have been such a controversy. Um, but it, 
It certainly was. Look at that. You're excited. Thumbs up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm excited for Michael Massey. <laughs> yeah. Here we well, balloons. Isn't? Just to even it out. And yeah. so I think that um, a lot, a lot came out of Abu Dhabi 21, not just merely Max getting a cha- his first championship, Lewis not getting the championship and that sort of thing, but the fallout that came out of Formula One for a lot of people. Mm. Yeah, the other thing I'll add, and I'm going to lump these together because they both involve Michelin, was the, the, and I know it was on Paul's list too, the 05 Indy, um, Indianapolis. Me yeah, and Grace GP. were there. Yep. I, I had that so, as a gate. <laughs> oh, you had that as a gate? Michelin uh, gate. Indy gate. Yeah, well, oh, it I could had, be Michelin Gate. We can I put had, it here. I had it as a, a yeah, as a political issue, and then I had uh, Michelin's, um, and maybe Michelin, but they also had the whole uh, uh, expanding tire issue in '03, two years prior to that, where the rules stated the width of the tire, but they figured out a way during running that the tire would degrade enough that it would widen the tire in the contact patch. And so after the race, it would measure wider than what the regulation specified. So the FIA said, we're going to measure the tires after the race. <laughs> going to solve right. that issue. So anyway. Yeah, uh, Indy that was another thing that. when I was a kid and I was starting to get the intrigue of Formula One, um, a very young kid, it was when James Hunt got disqualified from the Spanish Grand Prix. For his Goodyear being, his car being wider than legal limit, but it was only because Goodyear had come out with a tire that was wider than it had been any time before yeah. that. But he got disqualified, yeah. and then lost right. lost the race win in ensuing. You know, but in this and this came up because I think it was in Hungary because this is in '03 when Schumacher won the title. But oddly enough, in Hungary he finished eighth, and all the cars ahead of him were Michelin shot cars, and Alonso even lapped him. And everybody's like. Mm, something isn't right here. Yeah, something's not quite right. So they caught that. But anyway, all right. Good list. Uh, what what about the... uh, I oh. got one more. Okay. I got Massa, who should have been world champion. I wasn't oh, sure where yeah. to put that, right? That has to go in here yeah. somewhere. Well, oh, I mean, wait, it's, it's kind of ramping itself yes. back on the FIA, right? Um, Crashgate. That's a crash Yeah, gate. a cover up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But aren't we going to have a gate category? We could, but I think that the I think that I wasn't sure how to work because I think that does stand on its own, even though it it right it trickles down from Crashgate. Um, so yeah, I had it I had it in the political wars as well. That I didn't, I wasn't sure where to put it, but I think I think and especially because we're still talking about it. Like I think mm. if Massa didn't currently have a suit, maybe it wouldn't be as big of a yeah. thing on one of these right. lists right now. But I think that. It's still a thing. And speaking of eighty twenty one, I of course there's some interest there on, on Toto's part, right? Because like if this if this grows if this gets some legs, he's certainly like, Oh well, maybe just kidding and I didn't concede, right? Like <laughs> Right. It, right. Yeah. It's not over till it's over. That's right. right. So I, I think over. there's a lot of weight to this one. Yeah, yeah. Right. I also remember just just the when John Mayer Marie Balestra was in charge of Formula One and just the manipulation by him and his bravado and he mm. if he like a French driver was there they'd they'd get preferential choices. Mm. I remember the big battles between Senna and, and Prost and he would always favor Prost in different arguments and Yeah, you know, he was not a fan of Senna. No, no, and Senna was not a fan of his. Remember them arguing mm. on which side of the track you could start at and then that changed to that the yes. drivers can choose which which yep. which they favor, you know. So, but yeah. it was a, it was a, it was a very legitimate argument that just kind of got shuffled under the carpet, so to speak. Yeah, a lot of a lot of yeah. shuffling under the carpet. The FAA, I think, a lot of that. There's a lot of that mm. going on. There's a lot of big like dead body slump, you know, uh, lumps in their carpet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. Watch out for that. Don't trip. All right, next category. Oh wait, before we move on, I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm oh, trying I'm to double trying to be multitask timely. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll try to be timely too. I just also I thought that under the political wars, we had the after the fallout of Michael Massey getting fired and then bringing in two new race directors, we had the whole now we're going to regulate your underwear and what piercings you have, as Ted Kravitz referred to as oh, yeah. piercings. And I I think that became uh, quite the controversy in 22, 
And a lot of it was, I, in my opinion, was the new race directors like, quick, what is something we can enforce? What is a right. metric we can manage, right? And we can easily measure how many piercings you have and do wedding rings count? And what piercings does Lewis Hamilton have? I mean, I think it became right. a whole, whole thing about what was pierced, what was allowed to be pierced, what jewelry you were allowed to wear, heavy neck chains became a, a thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, so I... I I don't want to leave that off the list because I think that still stands as a, a thing. It was never really resolved. It was just kind of like we've moved on from it. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Remind, uh, it reminded me of, speaking of Lewis, reminded me of the other controversy, which was the uh, blackface in Spain, right? Mm. That was oh, a bad yeah. one. Yeah. That was yeah. a bad one. So Max dealt first with that year? swiftly and mm -hmm. quickly, and it was done. But, yeah. yeah. All right, next category. Uh, the is? next category is safety. Safety. All right, Paul, hit us with some safety. Hit you with some safety. Okay, well, the first big glaring one, big change was obviously the death of it in Senna that whole weekend and Roland Ratzberger and safety of yeah. tracks, et cetera. Um, I, I, obviously, there, there's been many levels where safety of Formula One has become a very hot topic and then it moved on, and then it became a hot topic again when more drivers got killed, et cetera, et cetera. And um, the track safety became paramount after Senna's track, uh, Senna's death, and Ratzenberger's. Yeah. It, I mean, basically, because Senna was the untouchable driver at that point, he became the, right. the, the point of contention for all these tracks. And if you remember, all the tracks had to change. There was chicanes being put up in the middle of straights. Even Monaco, I think, got an extra chicane thrown into it, something like that. Um, in, in, you know, the knee-jerk reaction to, to the incident. Um, but then that definitely had significant and positive uh, ramifications as tracks and Formula One moved on year after year after year and became it was a much a bigger impact. percentage mm -hmm. and talking point even now. Um, mm -hmm. Every time you yeah. go there, it's always it used to be the thing that the unmet the thing we don't mention back in the Jackie X Jackie Stewart days, and now it becomes no one's actually ever going to fight against making something safer in the lieu of entertainment. Yeah, because you know you get Halo from that, you get the Hans device from from that, mm -hmm. but that initial with the death of Senna kind of stopped this sort of mediocre interest you know jackie and a few others were mm -hmm. were ardent about safety of course but when it got to senna that was an eye-opening moment you know the the height of the monocoque on the sides the wheel tethers track changes track safety uh arm codes, everything was was uh, there was a huge deep dive over multiple aspects of the safety of the sport that was looked at because of that i agree huge yeah I th yeah i think it huge. really made you know a major part of fia's job is the track safety and car safety mm -hmm. that's literally you know changed their yeah crash testing and how much parameters. they had to actually yeah. be a part of it right yeah yeah i agree i think that was I, in and of themselves any of the introduction like the halo or hans or you know any of those things are are big moments and big safety developments certainly the double the vsc with jubianki the uh, reprofiling of Belgium, you know, the, all of these things, individual safety efforts that they've taken on. But it wasn't really until Senna died and Ratzenberger died that it, like you said, it pretty much put the FIA into high gear on covering mm -hmm. all kinds of safety aspects. And had that not happened, we may not have gotten Halo or we may not have gotten Hans had that not happened, you know, in my right. mind. Right. Yeah. And obviously spearheaded Grace, have... Sid Watkins was a big part of that. Yeah. Yes. Huge. Yeah. yeah. Grace, what do you have? Anything under safety? I I do. I was gonna mention so uh sticking with nineteen ninety four, that was it was a year in Formula One. There's a lot there. I was gonna mention the Benetton fuel filter on Joss for Sappenstar because I think that's another thing that somebody who I I didn't watch during ninety four, but I've seen those pictures and <laughs> <laughs> you know these gestures are more fun when I actually meant them, but because <laughs> that now seems really terrible. What am I getting? Yeah, you can't move your hand. I'm catching on fire. What am I doing with my <laughs> hands? What am I doing with my hands? No, no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sit on so them. I think that that really became uh, something. I, I think that's something that if you didn't watch in the '90s, 
that you've seen that picture, right? And you and you know about that incident, even if you don't know yeah. all the details around uh, the the fuel f- them. You know, we we found that the fuel runs faster if you take the safety feature out, <laughs> right. and everything caught on fire. So. Right. Um, right. That kind of changed the way refueling worked. Yeah. Okay. My dear friend Steve Matchett was on fire. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good safety list. I agree. Okay. Next category. Do need more? Oh, we're moving on from safety already? Oh, do you got I, more safety? I, well, I, I just want to go back to yeah. the Jackie Stewart era, mm-hmm. right? I mean, when, when the, the whole, there's a lot, you know, Obviously, it's, it was maybe before my time that I can remember it, but there, it was a massive issue with Jackie Stewart fighting against Formula One and his fellow drivers um, because there was a lot of people being killed back then. Obviously, we know Senna died in '94, but there was a lot more dying every yeah. week, nearly at that point, and the, and the fight, and it really took the drivers to sit down and refuse to drive, like in the '75 in the Spanish Grand Prix, where the Arco mm-hmm. didn't even have bolts in it. Um, yep. You know, there's been all kinds of controversies and and levels of degree of basically sitting sitting races out till till things got changed. And um, that's Jackie right. Stewart was obviously an integral part of that, and um, it was a difficult time, I think, and for him. But he was one of the best drivers in the world, and so he, you know, he used that um, for everyone's better betterment, really. He did. He used his his position in a very selfless manner, you know, in that sense. Mm-hmm. When you think about Jackie, and, you know, if you're newer to familiar, you see this, you know, older gentleman walk around, you really think about him. Um, but to your point, Paul, what he did for safety was massive. And it wasn't, and there was a stroke of genius when you read his autobiography, which I know you have, Paul, but when you read that, mm-hmm. it was, wasn't really until he was getting so much pushback on on demanding track improvements Um and so much because the tracks weren't going to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars upgrading their tracks. And he got so much pushback until he switched the narrative. OK, well, if you don't want to save the driver's lives, then you need to take a serious look at saving your uh, uh, spectators lives. Mm-hmm. And he changed that narrative. And all of a sudden, the tracks couldn't really say, oh, well, we don't give a damn about them. Right. It was all the spectators. And when he changed that narrative, flipped the deck on him, all of a sudden, all of those uh, changes right. started to come through. And it was a stroke of right. genius on his part. But because yeah. um, even huge. going back to the center thing, spectators got hurt in that in that mm-hmm. weekend. I mean, that yep. was a crazy weekend where everything yep. that could have gone wrong went wrong. You know, strap right. wheels flying in the in the grandstands, et cetera. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and and it is a big deal, and even for Marshall safety, you know, you had uh, the Marshall died from Jacques Villeneuve's tire, uh, Italy. You had uh, the Marshall uh, that was killed with the uh, the tractor in Canada. You've got a lot of those things, but a lot of these initiatives certainly, Jackie was instrumental, yep. hugely instrumental, no doubt. All right, all right. Next category. The next category is on track incidents. Ooh. Ooh boy. I'll take on, on track incidents for 500, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the pin is mightier, Mr. Connery. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> it's the therapist. I'll take it's Fords the for therapist. 300. That's S words, yeah. you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you got, Paul? First one. All right, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with your favorite, which is um, Damon Hill and Schumacher for the <laughs> world championship. And, yeah. and we're on differing sides, but different opinions. We agree on a lot of things, but uh, I, I I still think this championship should not have been given to Michael Schumacher because he 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 made an obvious choice after his car was damaged to stay on the throttle and drive as hard as he could and straight as he could to take Damon out, which effectively sealed him the championship. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> now, so... How do you really feel, Todd? <laughs> well, you could, you could go back and listen to my very first TPF Stories episode uh, where, you know, Damon Hill spent the rest of his career and, and still to this day – making a meal out of he and Michael Schumacher were arch rivals and all that, that 
that it's only part of the story. Really, it was Jacques Villeneuve that ended Damon Hill's career. Jacques Villeneuve was his arch rival, and um, and they put Damon out to pasture once Jacques Villeneuve got there. And so, anyway, you can listen to that episode to hear what I think about that. How I feel about Jacques Villeneuve. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look what happened to Jacques. Yeah, he got married in Vegas during the Vegas Grand <laughs> Prix. So good yeah, things was, can yes. happen to you. <laughs> the good people, yeah. <laughs> right. All right, so that's your offering. Grace, what's your offering? Well, I think anybody would be surprised if this wasn't my offering. But, of course, Rascast 2006 when, you know, Michael was just taking a leisurely qualifying lap and thought, oh, this looks like a great place to stop for a moment and just pulled <laughs> off the track and happened to, like, ruin Alonzo's attempt oh, at, you know, qualifying over. better than him. Pole That's right. For me. It's done. Yeah. I, I, how, can it, how could you possibly get better? I'm Michael Schumacher. I decided I had the best lap. We're good. So, uh, yeah, they ended up uh, moving him to the, the back. Yeah, I loved I, – I did – you know, it was great, Michael Schumacher. I don't know why everybody – it was an accident uh, because the steward said, nice try. It was deliberate. Um, and then it put Alonzo in pole, and Alonzo won the race. So, Raskas, always, always nice. a classic. Yeah. And, and, nice. and then Rosberg tried to emulate him, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I thought – yeah. But Rosberg did not get penalized. Is that right? Do you remember? I when he ran off to, into the runoff. Yeah, I don't at remember. Mirabeau? My car's not slowing down. Yeah. At Mirabeau. Yeah. Uh, it was at Mirabeau. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't think he did. No. Uh -uh. No. I don't remember. I could be wrong on that. I don't remember. I'll look it up. I'll add it to the notes so that for the next podcast, we'll sound like we knew exactly what we were talking about in this podcast. Nobody will know. We'll fix it on the back end. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. What other ones? All right. We got? we got Senna and Prost at, at Suzuka. Senna and Prost is the one we I kind had. of already talked about that a little bit, but yeah. that was definitely well, then I could flip it and go Pro Senna the very next year. Yeah, there we go. But it's the same. It's the same altercation, but Prost, mm -hmm. you know, Senna that you know that was that was going to happen. Turn one, boom, out, done. That was foregone right. conclusion, man. That was huge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They were, they weren't even taking bets on that conclusion at that point. No. Nah. Yeah. That was that was huge. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of other ones. You could say Rossberg, Hamilton, Spain, right? That was that was that was a, a big one. That, that was a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was it, in hindsight, it's what Rossberg had to do to win that title. You know, he was right. not going to be, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a nurses or an aide. Uh, to Hamilton in that team, and he was there to win a title, and by golly, he was going to do it come hell or yeah. high water. Yeah, and obviously more recently we've had a few contretemps between um, we have. Hamilton yeah. and Verstappen. You got the, yes. Oh, yeah, just got the British Grand yeah, Prix. British Grand Prix, yeah. Yeah, you got Monza. Monza. Yep. Monza had that altercation, yep. And then, the oddly friends. enough, you've got Lewis and Alex Albon. <laughs> Twice, twice. <laughs> He's taking him out. What, the, what are you got against Alex? Leave him alone, Nothing. damn it. He's a nice guy. He's, got He's a good guy. Yeah. He does. He has a whole bunch of them. He does. Although yeah. so does Max Verstappen, so I can't just use he has cats as a reason to like somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, of course, going back to Multi-21, I think, I think I'm think speaking earlier about the 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 one-two thing. Um between multi twenty one, but the Turkey incident was a separate incident between multi twenty one. But uh, yeah, where, they, where where Weber and um, Vettel clashed. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that was. A they big didn't one. have a very good history together. Yeah, I think multi twenty one was in Malaysia. But yeah, yeah there was yeah. multiple multiple incidents between those two. It wasn't like they were great before and they were great afterwards. They were never really great. So. Yeah, Mark was not happy. Get off now. Yep. Uh, let's see. All right. What else we got? And Those our are some last cat. Yeah, last, last category. category is Gates. Ah, the so, Gates. Uh, Here we go. You know, go. I'm, I'm sure there are people out there going, what about this? What about this? That's mm -hmm. because our last category is Gates, which is where all <laughs> yes. the really big things fit. <laughs> That's where all the huge stuff happens right there is the Gates. That's right. Yes. All right. We're all going to start. Which one do we top, start with, Grace? Well, I think you got to start. Everyone's with favorite. Spankgate. 
<laughs> you yeah. gotta start with Spankgate. Everyone's favorite. that is nobody's favorite except maybe Max. <laughs> rest his soul. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I. Those uh, ladies okay. were more than willing. We're just gonna throw them out because all three of us have all of these. We have Spygate. Yeah, for sure. Where the yes. corporate espionage uh, on Ferrari by McLaren, which ended up being a hundred million dollar fine by the FIA against yeah. McLaren yeah. and disqualification. Huge, huge. Um, yes. You have Crashgate 2008 in Singapore, which mm-hmm. denied Felipe Massa his rightful, that's what Massa's suing about right. now, right? Yeah. Right. So this was where Renault orchestrated, Alonso came in and boxed, came out, he was leading the race, and then they told uh, Nelson Piquet Jr. deliberately crash, bring out the flag, leaving Alonzo in the lead of the race, and he ends up winning the race. So that was a team purposely manipulating the outcome of a race. But we didn't find out about it until they fired Junior Jr. That's right. And a it year wasn't later, his dad right? that actually was like, hey, guess what? It was. Yeah, you fired was my mad. son, and, yeah. you know. They should have him that cushy job in the, you know. Right by the, Flavio, the Flavio didn't read yeah. the tea leaves there. He should have just done whatever no. he needed to do to keep uh, Junior happy. But uh, that it's like yeah. he forgot who Senior was. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like you, you know, <laughs> you yeah. don't forget who so, Nelson Piquet and his ego is. You no. can't forget that. No, yeah. that's right. And you'll so, bite your hand and not let go, Nelson Piquet. Yeah, yeah. That. Those of you at home going, you mean that guy? Yeah, same guy. So, that guy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes. But that's what I always think was the best. Like Crashgate, maybe we would have never known. Right. And that Alonzo was Alonzo was cleared of any like he knew, but he didn't know, and somehow hmm. he just like slid through. And it because was the I same for after... Spygate. Alonzo knew, but he didn't know. Yeah. But but well, we Bernie can't learn... remember apparently. No. He's an old man. He can't remember. <laughs> it's the Reagan remember. defense. But a lot. But we did learn that Hamilton because there was two you know you know hearings that came out of spygate and i i always joke that the first one you know lewis hamilton's like no i didn't know anyone anything and then the second one which is where all the penalties came out he was like i didn't know anything they didn't tell me like why he had fomo at the second one right like why didn't anybody tell me alonzo knew (laughs) why didn't i know right even taylor rosa knew for crying out loud and i didn't know pdr knew yeah. Everybody knew but me. So the right. first time he was very salty about, you know, very much in denial. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. And the second he was like, right. oh, why didn't and I know? And for therapy, his dad crashed a Porsche in a playground, and then Lewis flew over Turkish Opera. So it's all good. <laughs> Everything's fine. How does the Turkish Opera not – There has. I have to fit this in. This has to be in a category somewhere. You've got to fit On the Turkish safety? Opera in. Safety oh, could safety? be good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Do you safety. really want to suspend a world-class driver like Lewis Hamilton? Yeah. You put all I'm those people it. in danger. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, we got Spank. No, not finally. I got another one after this. You got Spankgate, which yeah. was Max Mosley caught in a Paul. It's not Nazi. It was a German themed sex party. <laughs> oh, sorry. That Mark. is what. <laughs> yes. Yes. That was, the, the court made that very clear that it was just a German themed Very sex straight party. arms. Yes, strange wolves. with spanking. Yes. And big, they all wore black, black turtlenecks. Big black this boots. This is where we do the dance. Yep. Yeah. It was a bad deal. Uh, so that was, yeah, that was pretty pretty much put paid to Max's career. But he won his and then, case, right? He did win, and then he went on yeah. to mm-hmm. change the laws about yeah. uh, those kind of things. Um, yeah. So, um, and then I also had another one, Ligate. Do you remember that? Okay. In the Australian Grand Prix under safety car... Uh, Lewis ended up going, uh, Yarno truly went a little wide off track and Lewis went by him. And the team gave Lewis the green light, told him to let Yarno back by, which he did not do. So then after the race, the team instructed Lewis to lie that they never told him to let Yarno back through. Thus, it was just a one of those moments. Ah, oops. Who knew? Yeah. yeah, oops. You know. And then the, the, the FI was like, well, we're listening to your radio, and the team told you to let him over. <laughs> it's like, uh oh. So they disqualified so him. So I have took this transcript right here. <laughs> yeah, so I've got this transcript that I'm reading here right where here. they clearly tell you. So well, uh, the team well, let's, I let's, quote, let's replay the footage. <laughs> yeah. when they, when they... Is this right. you? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would also I would also like to add because I feel that it is unbalanced that Ferrari doesn't make this list somewhere. And I'm also gonna add the fuel flow gate as well to the list. 
Mm. Oh, okay. Where they use the fuel to overdo the yeah. sensor. Now there's two sensors in the fuel because of uh, Ferrari's yeah. shenanigans. It's just a matter that of timing. Was, just it wasn't a gate. That was just, that was just a so. gentle reinterpretation of the regulations, Grace. <laughs> Although so technically they were kind of heavily involved in Spygate, but on the <laughs> negative side. Well, you well, know, they right, were like the, the victim. They were the oppressed, they were the Grace. It was yeah. just a couple drawings. It was 6,000 pages of And if manual. Kinko's hadn't have called Italy, it would have never been found out. It's Kinko's fault. I blame Kinko's. It is. Ooh. It is the, the Ferrari yeah. fan that worked at Kinko's. But I'm adding a <laughs> fuel flow gate to the list. Okay, you do that. And then I'm going to add pillow it. gate then. The pillow. accusation that Toto was talking to his wife. Oh. oh. You know. It Instead really of staring is. at each other across the, across the table, not talking. Right, yeah. yeah. You know, as if what Susie laid in bed, was, hey, guess what potatoes. happened? <laughs> guess what happened, Toto? Christian said this, <laughs> and Fred said this, as if she would do that, right? And the other yeah. thing is, which brings up this really, I, 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 we could almost call it the MBS gate, because I think the whole Mohammed bin Salim is leading to an FIA gate, if you ask me. Mm. But it hasn't happened yet, so I can't offer it up. Okay. Watch this. Space. I'm going to just put more to come. That's right. More to come. Gate. The gate gate. Yes. Right. Okay. Maybe we're, you know, we're the, you know, the oracles here that, that, you know, we're putting that out there. We're, we're future looking, not just back looking. Yeah. Right? See, we're doing a service, right? Like it. Do we as have any other gates? Do we have no, I like the them? idea of Susie Wolf, like waiting until they go to bed as opposed to like, shut up, I'm sleeping. Right. Like, <laughs> or how about we spent all day together and you could have told me these things then or tomorrow we won't right. be together all day. Now right. I'm sleeping. Yeah, I'm going to bed. Turn the light off. Um, so there you go. So is there any other gates that we're missing? Someone's at home listening to this going, you're missing the, yeah. But it's no, a, that's you know, the only ones I had. What was the, the first gate of. that they, was it Crashgate or was it Spygate was the first? Spygate. 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 No. I think there was a gate before that, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I'm getting old. There was Water a gate. Gate? I don't know. There was nothing before that. <laughs> was was Schumacher there? I think he probably was. <laughs> probably. I'm he pretty sure he was. Schumacher. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> Traction. Nice, gate. you know. He was spending the evening at the Kennedy Center, and he just thought he'd go over and visit. Uh, he yeah. just happened yeah. to be there. It was an accident. He didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. There were gates before. I just they're not jumping to mind. Yeah. Uh, there was hey, m- remember the, uh, how Schumacher got his start was uh, Bertrand Gachot going to jail. That's right. Do you know who was driving That's that right. cab? No. Michael Schumacher's dad. <laughs> no, I'm just no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gate. <laughs> that would have been... <laughs> <laughs> that's the, the that's gasho the gate I, I like gasho <laughs> gate i like that that's he cool. tried to knife me get out of the <laughs> put they, in. did they whisk him back to like the go-kart track in kirpin where they held him in a little shack <laughs> you know and, and with duct tape on his mouth you know yeah that's crazy it's not the bright light yes the gate gate there are some other the gates gate. some yeah some andrea uh Monigate that was you know that was bizarre. There was, um, yeah. Um, it's not really a gate, but it's when everybody left F one BMW, Toyota, Honda. Everybody just mm. gone, mm-hmm. right? And I also kind of feel like there's something behind that caterum and the dude in the Malaysian company that now is under major investigation. The CD business oh, really? dealings. Yeah, I can't remember. Tony, that cute um, little guy looked like a teddy bear. Yeah, Tony, um, was it That's Rodriguez it. or something like that? It sounded, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fernandez. Um, yeah, yep. yeah, they're very shady dealings there. And I also kind of feel like there's probably some I'm gates call that behind sh- what shady gate, shady Force gate, India. <laughs> yeah, Just Force India debacle. There. I think the Indian yeah. Grand Prix, uh, there was some stuff going on there, and yeah, who knows? Anyway, all right, Not That's a good gate. list. We've got a good list. Do we have good brackets? We've got decent brackets. I think we could. Oh, yeah. I think, I think we might be breaking out these into some other categories. I think we're good. We yeah. Might. yeah. Good. Okay. So and if we forget so some, we may have to just insert some for next time. Well, and here's Nobody, the thing. Nobody's going to listen to both. It'll be fine. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so here's the thing. So if you're or listening any. to this podcast, 
over the holidays and there's an issue under one of our categories, a major glaring issue, leave it in the comments section so Grace and I can take a peek at it this week. All right. But you have until what Thursday of this coming week, because that's when we're going to record uh, part two, because next Hand Monday is Christmas. Awards. Hand out our awards. So <laughs> between now and Thursday, when you listen to this, if we've missed glaring issues, leave it in the comment section. We can seed that. We'll add that to seeding the brackets. Right. And we'll add that. And then for the next show, which will be recorded on Thursday evening, uh, here in the States this coming Thursday. Uh, we will go through your comments. We'll adjust our, our brackets. And then the next show, we're going to bring it down. Sweet 16, 8, 4. And we'll bring them all the yeah. way down to our top elements and top issues. At least that's what we'll try to do. And uh, so it should be fun for the final <laughs> podcast of this season. Yeah. Uh, because try being the key. Yes, right, right. So, as Grace said, um, there's got to be more Ferrari stuff that we're forgetting. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. I'm thinking there I'm has sure. to be more. Ve there's so little Red Bull on here. It's because Red that Bull is... is squeaky clean, Grace. You guys that manufacture. That is for sure hate. not true. <laughs> you guys just manufacture <laughs> no. hate for Red Bull. I don't know where it all comes okay, from. Okay, Michael Schumacher fan. That is not <laughs> true. I I just think there has to be some more Vettel than just Multi 21. That's really it. There has to be some more. No, some... Vettel. They stole remember. their own. They stole their own trophies, threw them in the lake. To right. Claim, claim right. insurance. It was PR stunt. It has to be. So, it no, remember right. Vettel? Everyone loved Vettel when he came in, and then everybody hated Vettel when he was the arch rival Lewis. And now Dominant, everyone loves yeah. Vettel. So, you know, it's, it's We all love good, old right? Vettel. Old Vettel is nice. I never liked young Vettel. Oh, I did. But Vettel with the bees and picking up trash. You love that guy. <laughs> this guy, I didn't like. Yeah, what's not to like? <laughs> So anyway, None so of it. I didn't like any of it. we it will fun. do this uh, uh, in the next episode. It'll be the last podcast of this year. And then uh, uh, I think we're going to skip New Year's because that's New Year's Eve. And I'm pretty sure Paul will be out partying yep. it up. Uh, absolutely. Um, Him and Kimmy yeah, Rankin in. Yeah. Jägermeister yeah. night. Yeah. absolutely. That's yes. Great. Grace will be all sloshed into sleep by eight. <laughs> I'll bring I'll bring inflatable dolphins for all of us. It'll be fine. <laughs> there you go. There you go. It'll be New Year's Eve, and I'll be out in the front yard banging a pot in a pan with my dog, taking it on a potty break. So there you go. Yeah. That's the extent of my New Year's. Oh, uh, boy. I lead a the dream. Stygian hell life. I can't. So um, <laughs> anyway, so there you but go. The pictures are lovely. There are your, nice pictures. Your, yeah, I enjoy that. Very lovely in the morning. pictures. But, uh, so there you go. So all right. So that is it for this podcast. This is part one now of a two-parter. The next one will come out later this week. Part two will break the brackets down, come up with the top list. And, and it, as I said, leave your comments. If we've missed anything, let us know what you think. And then uh, we'll close out the year with that podcast. So until next week or until this later this week, <laughs> I guess. Whenever. Until the next podcast, 868, sure. right? We're on 867. Part one. So part two will be podcast 868. So until then, when we come back, a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who support us. We could not and would not do uh, this podcast without you. So thank you so much. And uh, until later, until podcast 868, this is Todd, a.k.a. Negative Camber, saying so long. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.